hey guys in this video i am going to show you how to check whether a object or array is empty or not while the development we write lot of condition based on the length or object have this property but what if i want to write a generic which can check and give me whether this array is empty or object is empty or not so if i talk about array it's really straightforward if length of array is zero we can say that array is empty but if you talk about the object you will face lot of difficulty so let's say if you know the structure of that particular object you can search for name so let's say a object should have a name so you can write object dot name and you can check but what if you don't have any idea that what property it will have so in that case how to check so now here as you can see at the top i have two different variable array empty array object here empty object okay. so now let's write a function to check whether the array is empty or not so for that here what i will do let's say i will write a simple function so let's say const and here is empty array here i will get a array and here i will write return and i will check length so array dot length equal equal to zero that means it's a empty array so right now is empty array and here i can pass my array and i will get a result so let me do console log to result and now let me execute so not index dot js and here as you can see i got this value as a true that means this is a empty array but what if i want to write this function on array prototype so prototype is something where it will automatically suggest the function whenever i type array so let me show you so if i write here array dot as you can see i am getting here couple of functions and these are the prototype already defined function so wherever i call this array it will get call automatically here so i would like to write this kind of function so for that here what we can do is instead of writing this one so this is the sample simple function okay now i will write a prototype so prototype function and here what i have to do is array dot and i need to define a prototype dot and here i can give my function name so i will write is empty and i know this function will get applied on array so i don't need to pass your array anymore okay now here a default function will be so function and right now i will get a access of your this operator so console dot log this okay now let me call so how do i call this function so for that here i have array here dot underscore is empty and this is a function so now whenever i write something like this this function will get triggered so let me execute and here as you can see i got this empty because here i am passing this empty and here undefined because here it's not returning anything okay so in this operator we got value what we passed so let's say if i am passing here my name i will get my name this time okay so now from here itself i can return by checking length so this length equal equal to zero that means it's empty 
so now as you can see it's false why because it have a value here so now let me pass mtra and here i will get true so this can be used when you want to perform some operation based on length is empty so you can write a condition something like that if array dot underscore is empty then do your work whatever you want got it so now let's talk about object so how can we do with that so here as you can see at the top i have a object so empty object right now let me print this let me use here boolean so boolean and i will pass my object now if you can see here i will get this true okay so whenever we pass something like this or if i pass here array as well i will get true that's why we are writing this function our on implementation so here what we will do is now we need to find a way to return this object as a false because this is a empty object so similarly i can write here logic so prototype function for object as well so object dot prototype dot and here is empty and same thing function and again here i will get access by using this operator so now in order to call this here i need to write object dot underscore is empty and here it will get called now i need to write a logic to check so for that here if you can see it don't have any key for any value if anyhow able to manage to get the key length i can do this if key length is zero i can return that this is a empty one so for that if you know we have a property here object dot and here keys which will give me array of keys so here i will pass my object this and let's see what's going on here so console dot log and i am printing this so here as you can see again i got a empty array why did it happen because this object don't have any key so in this case i can write another one thing equal equal to zero so now as you can see this is a array so i can write here length and i can check for length so now if you can see i will get true so now let me return here and done so basically right now here we are calling so need to print this and here as you can see i got this value as a true so my object is empty right now so now let me pass your one property so name and here if i check i will get result as a false because this key will have a array of length 1 and the element will be name there okay now if i am trying to pass something like this only key it will complain me that name is not defined okay so definitely i have to pass this value or na name here i have to define then only i will be able to pass so in that case here if someone is declaring this variable at the top so let's say name and equal to some value okay so right now it will not complain anymore and it will return result as a false why why because here key is this and vikas is the value for this okay so we can use this function and as you can see the function name is same but here we have defined based on the prototype so for array this function is empty will get call and for object this one will get call so accordingly where here as you can see we are calling this 
and it's getting called this function because of the object and in this case it was getting called this one because here this is a array okay guys so in this video we have seen how to check whether array or object is empty or not and also we have seen how to write a prototype function you can find download link of this code in description of this video if you like this content please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching